Arsenic is a chemical element with the symbol AS and atomic number 33. It's one of the metalloids, which just means it behaves somewhat like a metal and somewhat not. Its most common structure is 33 protons, 42 neutrons, and 33 electrons, and although it is stable, it's notoriously super toxic. Its toxic nature was known as far back as the ancient Egyptians, who used arsenic-containing minerals like orpiment, a yellow powder, and realgar, a red-orange crystal, as coloring dyes and makeup, which is probably how they found out that arsenic is super toxic. The reason it's so toxic is because it messes with how our body makes energy. Each cell in the body works to convert food and proteins into energy, and when arsenic sneaks in there instead, the body thinks it's being helpful, but it's not, and the cells can't produce enough energy and eventually die. In the short term, this can cause nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, stomach cramps, all symptoms which are easily mistaken for other, more natural causes. But if the dose is large enough, it'll kill you. And that's what made it so good as a poison. All you had to do was slip some white powder into some food or drink, which would go unnoticed since arsenic has no taste or smell, and then just wait for the person to drop dead. Now unlike this scene, arsenic actually takes hours or days to become lethal. And at that point, the cause of death could easily be mistaken. Until it couldn't. Because in 1250, Albertus Magnus, a German scientist, bishop, and philosopher, discovered arsenic to be an element. And as scientists studied arsenic more and more, methods of creating poison became only easier and more widespread throughout Europe, which led to a surge in poisoning cases, and gave arsenic the reputation of being the king of poisons. But centuries later, in 1836, James Marsh, a British chemist, created a test that could prove if the cause of death was just natural causes or by arsenic. It worked by turning arsenic into a gas that when burned, produced a visible flame that could stain glass and then be used in court, making getting away with murder much harder. But arsenic continued to have important uses, such as in pest control, since arsenic is also poisonous to rodents and insects. It was also common in wood preservatives, keeping wood from deteriorating. But once safer alternatives became cheaper and more abundant, arsenic was largely phased out from pest control and wood preserving, due to it still being super toxic to humans. And that's the troubling thing about arsenic, is that it just always seems to be kind of deadly. In the 1800s, a Paris green wallpaper was found to be the cause of hundreds of deaths due to the trace amounts of arsenic that was used to get the green colored paper. More recently, in 1955, a milk company in Japan inadvertently killed over 100 infants because trace amounts of arsenic were added in the production process. And since arsenic is common in Earth's crust, it's also been found to poison mines and wells. One of the worst cases of this is in Bangladesh, where almost all the water supply comes from underground, and where the natural supply of arsenic is way above average. To this day, 43,000 people die every year in Bangladesh alone from arsenic poisoning. And even the less toxic form of arsenic, found in seafood like sardines, can still be dangerous if you consume too much of it. And uh, I go, someone poisoning me? He goes, that's very, very... Unlike many elements in the body, arsenic has absolutely no benefit to being in humans. It's purely toxic. But doesn't mean it can't be used for good. In medicine, arsenic compounds like arsenic trioxide are now being used to treat certain deadly cancers, like acute promyelocytic leukemia. It works by targeting and killing cancer cells while sparing healthy ones. And while it's not without risk, it can outperform traditional chemotherapy in specific cases. And in industry, arsenic is being used to make advanced semiconductors in the form of gallium arsenide. It can handle higher frequencies, generate less heat, and convert signals faster than traditional silicon semiconductors, which gives it special uses in 5G network towers, military radar, satellite systems, infrared lasers, and night vision goggles, despite being more expensive. That's all I have to say about arsenic, but if you want to learn more about other elements, just click here.